How traffic signals work. Many people think that traffic signals are inconvenient because they constantly get stuck at red lights. This is untrue. They are simply there for your safety. Now, let's go take a look at the basics and 101 on traffic lights. Let's get started by looking at some basic traffic lights. Traffic lights go in the following sequence. Red, green, yellow, back to red, and so on. Traffic lights like this one can be found in places like Florida and Texas and feature the arrows on the side. The light starts out red and may cycle to a green signal with a left green arrow or just a green signal. When the amount of time for the left lane to turn is almost over, the arrow will change yellow while the other light continues to remain green. Drivers turning left have the right of way to proceed left as only as one of their lights is green and there is no oncoming traffic. This signal will change yellow and back to red and continue the process. Traffic lights like this one can be found in places like Illinois and Wisconsin. These lights have a separate turn arrow for the left turn lane. This is much different from the other traffic signals because when the left turn lane signal is green, those drivers can proceed. When it turns yellow, any drivers behind the white line must stop while the remaining drivers still in the intersection complete their left turn. When the left turn arrow turns red, no drivers turning left can proceed even if there is no oncoming traffic. Drivers going straight have the basic signal with red, yellow, and green as demonstrated. When a vehicle pulls up to a red light or drives through a green light, their car is being detected by in-ground sensors. The traffic signal uses these sensors to detect cars waiting at a red light so that it may change the signal, or it detects cars driving through a green light to extend the green light time for a few seconds so that any additional traffic may pass. These sensors are all connected to a main computer box on the side of the road a few feet away from the traffic signal. This box in the picture below may just seem like any other silver power box around the city or neighborhood, but it is really the only reason why drivers are the ones getting the green light as they drive through an intersection. This box is equipped with high-tech computers and underground tracking devices that set a duration of time for a green, yellow, and red light. All traffic sensors route back to this box, which calculates a way for the signal to change without completely disrupting traffic flow. Department of Transportation staff can also monitor and change the settings on these boxes. The sensors on the traffic signal can detect a broken light or dysfunctional sensor, which can be reported to maintenance staff and can be fixed immediately. Many people wonder how emergency vehicles change a red light to a green light by having their lights and siren on. The secret is in the strobe lights on that police car or fire truck. In the picture below, a sensor is shown which can be set to a light frequency that detects an approaching emergency vehicle and changes the light to allow traffic to pull forward and out of the way of the emergency vehicle and to stop cross traffic and allow the emergency vehicle to pass through the intersection safely. Below is an example of a fire truck setting off a traffic signal, otherwise known as a 911 sensor, to engage the traffic light to turn green. The frequency on the strobe light engages the sensor and changes the light. Below is a diagram explaining the whole process. Okay, so suppose that we start out by having the left turn lane and straight lane be green, as well as the cross right turn lane being green. The left turn signal would cycle through to yellow, and the cross street right turn lane would also cycle through to yellow. Now the left turn lane is red and no turn is permitted. This is the same case with the right turn lane in the cross street. The opposite line of traffic flow now has the green and both directions can proceed safely through the intersection. Now both directions of traffic cycle through to yellow. Now both directions of traffic, including the left turn lane, are red. Traffic may turn right into the cross street but may not proceed to go straight. The cross street is now permitted to proceed right or left as they have the green signal. The cross traffic now has a yellow light and any remaining cars in the intersection can complete their right or left turns. Any cars behind the white line may not proceed forward. This cycle then repeats itself according to any cars being detected in the left turn lane. Thank you for watching this video of how traffic lights work. Please subscribe, like, and comment to my YouTube page. If you would like to receive more information about my miniature city model or any other informational videos, please visit my website at willstown.webs.com and you can even become a member.
member and receive special updates. Bye.